Okay, now this is a bit of a tutorial off the top of my head. This is going to be registering a user uh, from my previous um, login and register tutorial. And this is going to be how to send out an email validation script um, or, an, uh, sorry, a, a, um, a validation email um, using, a uh, using obviously a PHP script. And basically, what this is going to do is the account will remain unactive until the user responds to the email and clicks a link contained within the email and this link will um, redirect to one of our pages and this is going to activate the user's account now <coughs> excuse me there's a few things we need to do to prepare for this tutorial um, presuming that you followed my login register tutorial so far if you haven't I suggest you do otherwise um, following this uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem if you already have a script quite similar to this uh, which I'm sure you will now um, when we have um, come through all the um, phases of checking so the password length etc etc and we come to insert into the users um, value what we need is we need to insert a random uh, value in which the user doesn't know and they'll be sent this code um, when they uh, register um, okay so we have all our standard information put in there we've got our ID full name username password and date and on here we're going to append sort of some of the information like the random generated uh, number and we're also going to have another fi um, field and this is going to be um, whether the user has activated their account or not. So this is going to be a boolean value saying uh, 1 or 0, 1 for yes the user has activated and 0 for no the user hasn't. But we're not going to put these in yet. Um, we firstly need to load up PHP my admin. So I'll just do that now. Uh, okay that's loading up. Okay so we've got PHP my admin up and our table I believe is PHP login oh, sorry our database is PHP login and our table is users okay so at the moment what we've got is our um, ID name username password and date like I mentioned and um, we're going to need to edit some of this um, to um, take into account the fact we're um, firstly having a, a random uh, digit that needs to be generated and checked and secondly whether the user has registered or not so um, I'm gonna see say here add two fields at the end of the table uh, not after ID at the end of the table and I'm just gonna click go okay so now we can edit these uh, fields here we've got the field name and the type and the first field I'm gonna have is um, the um, let's call it um, random number okay and the other one is activated okay so uh, the random number is obviously going to be an int uh, feel free to change this to a var chart and include uh, characters in your random sort of string um, in fact I'm just going to call this random for now and I'm going to keep it as a var chart and let's just say length of 20 we'll say no more than that and activated I'm going to set as a bool and this is either 1 or 0 now this is really important by default you need it as zero, and meaning the user hasn't activated their account. The process, like I've explained, is a random number is generated. It's going to be stored in here, um, inside this field, and activated is autom automatically going to be set to zero. They're going to be sent an email with um, a URL, and that's going to be to a separate page that we're going to create soon. Um, and this random number will be fed in there by a get header. And then what will happen is um, if the um, get header that they provide um, is um, the same as this, what we're going to do is we're going to then change this activated here to a 1, meaning that they'll be able to access the website. And what we also need to change is the login process to check that <coughs> this is um, set to 1 for the users to try to log on. So we can go down and click save and there we have our user uh, table users has been altered successfully okay so if we go back to browse you can see that uh, my account at the moment is not activated and to change this um, I'm gonna come in here and open uh, my login script here and I'm just gonna come and see my query and that is select star from users where username equals a username 
and here what we're doing is we're getting our uh, username and password and we're checking our username and password here uh, but what I want to do first is I want to come in here and I want to say um, activated equals uh, dollar like row like we've uh, the structure we've kept and that's going to be activated and now what I'm going to do immediately here I'm just going to say if activated equals equals now you can use equals equals false uh, this is perfectly acceptable or you could say equals equals zero it's entirely up to you I'm going to be using equals equals zero for now just to uh, show the actual sort of pure value of this and then we're just going to say die here and we're going to say um, your account is not yet active please check your email okay and uh, when we finish this uh, tutorial it will be up to you to say um, create a um, href in here just to say um, send the email again or something like that but after this tutorial you should be pretty comfortable with um, the way this all works so you should be able to do this and then after this we could just say uh, like exit or something like that um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and log in with my data um, let's see here we've got um, username equals Alex password equals ABC I think this is MD5 encrypted um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause the video and change this to an MD5 encrypted value okay so I've changed that to an encrypted value and um, if you don't know why I've done this basically because when we log in um, we're checking um, an, an unencrypted password that we're encrypting against an encrypted password in the database to see if they match um, this is just for security but if you follow the tutorials you'll understand what that means okay so um, to log in now with my username and password that is Alex as my username and ABC as my password by cl clicking login I say it, it says your account is not yet active please check your email um, if for example we have activated I'm just going to cheat here and modify this value in the database to one um, I can click go and we can see here that if we uh, try and log in again oh sorry what, what I don't know why I use this exit command here. Okay, so scrapping the exit command, we're just killing the page if this is true because uh, I didn't do um, a block around this. If I was to use the exit, by the way, I would need to use my block. That's obviously, that's probably obvious to some people. Um, I'm just quite tired. So, Alex and ABC, log in, and I'm in. Because uh, the value in the database. Um, has now been set to 1. Uh, what I'm going to just do is I'm going to change this back to 0 and I am going to now um, in the second part of this uh, tutorial show you how to um, after the user registers send out an email with a random activation code and then match it back to the um, the user when they try and activate their account. So I'll uh, see you in a bit in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.